Hi, I wanted to go over how to create an update query because a lot of you are creating databases that could uh, benefit from having an update query. An update query is where you want to use an item, say in inventory, or someone buys an item from inventory and you want to uh, decrement the quantity in that inventory. So I've created this little database here called Inventory Update Queries, and it's on the O drive, and I put it on Moodle as well. And I will use it as an example so that you can refer to it, and I'll show you how to make these queries. So I've already created the queries. I've already created this database. It, it's, a, it's a simple one. I've got items that are used on projects. So this is my inventory, and I've got some projects. I've only got two projects and some items used. So that's what the little database looks like. And you might read this here. This is my inventory here. So I've got uh, five items in inventory. And I've got these buttons that do various things that you can play around with. One of the things you can do with an update query is set all inventory items to some quantity. So this is really only used in testing so you get a sense of, of how to use these. Uh, you wouldn't probably normally do this. But if I click on that button, it goes to this form. It kind of shows you what an update query looks like. And if I run the update query by clicking on that button, it gives me some warnings. And it asks me you know, what level I want to set everything to. I'll set it to 100. I've got five items in inventory. And so now there's uh, gaskets are set to 100, and hex heads 100, copper tubing 100. Everything's 100. So that's how that works. Now, if I double click on one of these queries over here, let's see, that's that one there, it will uh, do the same thing as, as what I just uh, did. If I want to actually look at the query, I have to right click on it and go to Design View. So this is what an update query looks like. Uh, in this case, that's what, this is what this one looks like. So I've got a field, quantity, and stock that I want to get some input from. So if I enter these uh, text inside these square brackets, uh, it's going to ask for input. Uh, so I'll, I'll create that query really quick. So if I go into Query Design, um, I'm just going to pick the items table because that's all I need. And all I want to do is update the quantity in stock. And I'm going to make it an update query, not a select. Select is the typical thing that people do, but I want to update <clears throat> the quantity in stock in the table items. And I want to update it to, uh, so if I say please enter the number, the number to update to, then it'll uh, display that message and I might say, well, update them all to 11. And I'm going to update 5. And if I come here, there's 11, 11, 11, 11. So they've all been updated to 11. Well, that's okay. But I, I, if you knew the IDs of these uh, items, like that's Gaskets' is ID 3, I could drag ID there and say the criteria is Say, please enter item ID. Usually you don't memorize these things, but this is just to show you how you work with this. And if I run this, it's going to ask me um, how many I want to update. It'll, it'll go in this order. So what number I want to set it to and then which one I want to run. So I want to set it to that many. Uh, which one? Well... I think the gaskets was item three. So I'm going to update one item. And yeah, there's item three, and there's the, the new quantity in stock. So that's sort of how these uh, update queries work. Uh, you can introduce criteria, and you can use these square brackets to uh, request the user what item that he, he wants. The other thing you can do with these is, I think to save time, I'll just show you. Here's a query here. I'm going to look at it. 
And in this update query, I want to take the items table, the field quantity in stock, so that's the number that I have in stock, and I want to reduce it by the quantity used in this table. So the way you can uh, do that is if I type in items, then it uh, access ask me so which of these tables you want well I want I want that table there and then if I do a, a period it asks me so which uh, field in that table do I want well it's that field then I want to subtract items in the items used table so I double click on that and I get a, a dot or period the quantity used and so when I run this, it's going to subtract quantity used from the quantity in stock. Now, a neat feature in Access is the ability to set criteria to what's on some form. So I have a form here. Let's see, in this case, it's the items used form. If I go to this items used form, if I open it up, and if I was to pick that item and you know add a, a quantity that I used. I'm going to use that many and a date and I could add a, the project that I used them on, things like that. And I think I have to enter this form that's up right now. If I run this query, this little criteria will say, hey, go to that form and pull the item ID, and that ID is the one that you want to use to update its quantity. So that restricts it. That, this is as opposed to me saying something like uh, enter item ID, which people don't remember those things. And so what you can do is get the form, spell form right, forms, and in this case you have to use an exclamation mark, and <clears throat> It's the, see what did I say? It was the, I used the items used form. So I've got two forms to show you two different ways to do this. And it's the uh, item ID that I'm looking for, or the, sorry, the ID, that thing there. I think that's the one I want. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. So I double click on that. And so this is the criteria. It's going to be what's this item 19 is the, is the one it's going to look for. I'm saying that right. That's the form that I want to use, and that will then have a quantity used on it that I'll subtract. So we'll, we'll run this and see if it works. Yeah, I think I have to. I have to hit enter. I want to make sure that that's entered. And I'm about to update one rail, so, so there I've updated it, and let's see if that's now the case. And so those gaskets uh, that I used, that many gaskets, it subtracted that. So play around with this, and, and you'll get the idea, and you can try to duplicate what I've done, and uh, hopefully this will be useful to you.